In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to install an SFTP client on Windows. SFTP stands for Secure File Transfer Protocol, and in Windows, there is no built-in client for accessing the SFTP server. For this tutorial, we will be using an application called WinSCP. You can log on to winscp.net and download the latest version of the application. With the download complete, let's run the installation wizard. A pop-up window will appear asking you whether you want to run the setup installer. Simply click on the Yes button to continue on with the process. As a result, the WinSCP installer wizard will open up. First of all, you would need to select the language. Select the language from the drop-down menu and click on the OK button. Now the welcome screen of the installer will appear. Simply click on the Next button to move on with the process. Now you will be required to accept the license terms and agreements before moving on to the next step. Over here, you can either use the typical installation option, which is recommended, or completely customize the installation according to your requirements. Next, you would be required to choose the style of the user interface. You can either keep the Commander interface, which shows two panels on the screen, or the Explorer interface, with only the remote directory being displayed. With that done, the wizard will install the application on the system. Once the installation is completed, the application will open up. Over here, in the File Protocol option, by default, the SFTP has been selected. Now let's move on to the Host Name option and provide the web address or the IP address of the server we want to connect to. With that done, let's enter the credentials and click on the Login button. Once a successful connection has been established, the WinSCP interface will open up. Over here, you can see the contents of the local system in the left pane of the window, and the contents of the remote server would be located towards the right. And that's basically how you can install and use an SFTP client in a Windows environment.